What's up guys, this is Eggs. In today's video, we're going to be learning about the art of snowballing in the jungle, and I'm going to pretty much teach you how to do so, which is what I taught Leo last night. This is in like Emerald EU West. And yeah, in this game, he's going to get an early lead on Graves because even though he doesn't invade the enemy Viego, what we're going to watch here is that Leo is going to eventually kill the Viego after full clearing. Now, of course, full clearing, I only like if there's nothing to do, right? If there's no kills, which is literally what jungling is, you are farming your camps and their camps as efficiently as possible until one of the enemy laners or even jungler says, hey, man, I'm trolling, come kill me. And we go from there, right? Anyway, Leo's going to kill the Viego here, right? So Viego jumps in and Leo just kills him. Don't really care too much about mechanics here. I just want to show you guys how to snowball. And what Leo should do here, what do you guys think? Now, pretty much, man, like, you guys who think about jungle differently to laning is kind of where you're getting yourselves in trouble. And this is something that um, Griffin, like, couldn't get his head around, I guess. And I pretty much told him, bro, like, if you're playing a lane, right, and you get a kill, like, for example, in top lane right here, like, Camille killing the poppy. Poppy's dead for 11 seconds, right? Now, any early kill, because the enemy champions aren't dead for that long, with an early kill, that champion should, you know, if they've won on even ground, right? Like, the, the Camille has spent the same amount of gold as the Poppy, and she's been able to kill the Poppy, even though that was a terrible matchup for Camille. Not sure how this happened. But in the jungle, it's the same thing, man. You've got to think, like, camps and minions. So because Elena has a kill early game, right? Like they solo killed or whatever, or 2v2, whatever it is, they have a kill and the enemy champion is dead, their opponent. If they recall as soon as possible, of course they have to sort out the wave and stuff to make sure it's not in a bad position. But once that's sorted, they should just be thinking about recalling ASAP because that means in terms of tempo, that is exactly what tempo is, by the way, you will be on the map at the same time. So if you're Elena and you recall and you get back into lane at the same time as the champion you just killed... Not only did you kill them with the same gold spent, now you spent more gold. It should be even easier to kill them again. That is essentially what snowballing is. You have to think about jungle as the same thing, right? And basically, you kind of like replace minion ways with enemy jungle camps, obviously. Like, instead of waves, you have camps. So you've got to try to figure out, like, what wave, in other words, what jungle camp is the enemy jungler going to go towards? Viego here started where in this game? You've got to be quick. Come on, let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Well, he didn't have red buff, right, for the fight. And he's bot side at 3.5, 340. That means he has to have started top side. He can't be level 4, which is a full clear. He couldn't have started at red, gone all the way to top like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then come all the way back down, right? That would take way too long. So he has to have started here, which means that's on a 420 timer. That means that the Graves, who has just killed the Viego, with the same gold spent, now could spend this gold on a Serrated Dirk. And yes, Viego might have two long swords. He might have Sheen, whatever he buys. But Serrated Dirk is better than whatever Viego buys here and Graves has an even better chance of killing him now. The secret, though, is if you can actually make that play happen. And the key is to try to ambush that champion on that camp so we'll see what leo does in this game and by the way he actually finds this move which is fantastic i was super impressed he actually finds this move but i'd prefer him not to do the crab here because it doesn't really mean anything this also gives viego a bit of time when we looked at this to go like this take the crab and he would have actually finished his gromp by the time leo got here so doing this crab guys is actually a waste of time just because leo finished this look at this he's recalling now so he's recalling around 415 he could have recalled here at about like what he would have been in base at like 4.02 or something, maybe four minutes. So you would have saved 15 seconds. Lots of people just think, oh, it's just a scuttle crab. It takes me five seconds. No, man. Like running here is a good five, six seconds. Doing the crab as well, if you're not going to smite it, takes a bit of time too. Leo even smited this. So he added 15 seconds now to this potential hit. So if we watch this closely, Thankfully, the Viego is slow out of base, takes the wrong path to crab, and also is a little slow doing the Grom pair. So thankfully, it worked out in Leo's favor, but in another game, he should have just instantly backed, right? Because if we think about it, how long do you guys think it takes to recall in this position? So it was 3.55, right, in that dry brush. How long do you think it takes to get from this point all the way to this Gromp? It's the same as this, obviously. How long do you think? Probably takes about 40 to 45 seconds, right? Just to run there. Because it takes about, what? Well, let's just say, I don't know, 20 seconds to get to Krogs. We're almost doubling that distance, yeah? So around 40, 45 seconds, I'd say. It's better to be earlier as well than later, of course, because you give the enemy jungler a chance to farm that minion wave. In other words, that jungle camp they're going to go towards. But thankfully here it works out. And whenever you guys are doing this, invading like this is great because you have the blast cone. It's just very important, guys. You do it exactly like Leo, where you hit this into the front of 
the brush. This means that pretty much any champion that's in this line and up will not actually see you jump into the brush. They will see you if they're maybe like here, yeah? Because you're playing the Fog of War on that line. So no one is going to see you here if they're doing Gromp, which is exactly what Viego doesn't see. But you see how close this is, man. In another game, if Viego took the right path out of base, this Gromp would be gone. Yes, like he might be running down here and Leo can still ambush him, but taking the Gromp as well is even better, right? Like we're doing two things. We're either killing the enemy jungler or, and or, we're taking the Gromp and the camp they're doing. You can replace Gromp with Krugs in another game, right? Or Raptors maybe at 440 if you're playing that timer. So there's a bunch of timers to think about, and all you're just, like I said, you are replacing that minion wave, like you're playing a lane, with a jungle camp. Where is that weaker champion going to go to, and can I get there in time? So Leo, after killing the Viego here, nicely. What do you guys think he should do here? Because I called this instantly when I was coaching him. This session, unfortunately, isn't on Patreon. I was about to, like, advertise my Patreon. But yeah, guys, there's so many sessions, like almost 600 now on the Patreon. Please check it out. Sign up. There's heaps of patrons already who, who are frothing the content. Yeah, just down below. That was a really bad advertisement. Anyway, the move that Leo has here, guys. So he just killed Viego, right? And you're like, well, he's only done one thing out of base, which is taking, well, two things maybe, taking the Viego's Gromp and obviously killing the Viego, right? Now, a couple of important things here. First of all, we should be timing this Gromp because the next Gromp that spawns might be like level five, level six, maybe even level seven, right? So around seven minutes, that's going to respawn because we probably would have killed it at like 455, yeah? Then we chase Viego. So the Gromp, because if we killed that at 455, we add 215, yeah? Which adds to about, what, like 710? Just seven minutes, which is probably, like, good enough. So around seven minutes, this Gromp is going to respawn. So in my head, if I was Leo, I'd be putting that in the back of my mind. So whatever I do running out of base, like, let's just say... Let's just say I was to kill it like this, this, and this. I would be thinking about running back to this Gromp and contesting the Viego on it. The other important point here is that Leo decides to go to the Viego's walls. I'm pretty sure. Which is okay, it looks pretty good, like it's actually still a fine move. You're getting level 4 walls out of this, you're get, you've already got level 4 Gromp. You're also sequencing them in a way that you could hit them again. But you see how this is 30 seconds after Gromp. So you'd have to wait a good amount of time, right, in between these two if you were to go here again. So the move that Leo should have done in this position, right here after killing Viego, think about Viego's camps. Where are his minion waves? What minion wave is Viego going to run to here? Do you really think he's going to go to walls at a base when Graves can just do this, right? So Viego's probably thinking, man, this Graves just killed me, took my Gromp. If he knew my Gromp was up, he's got to know my walls are up as well. Man, this is really annoying. So this guy's probably going to take this. All right, well, I've got no choice but to run out here. And Graves, well done. Should just recall. Get a longsword and just run here again. Yes, it's only a longsword, but guess what? Is Viego not in the same items? Dirk and a longsword now, yeah? Against two longswords, which is what he had anyway. Now it's even better to invade him. Now it's even more easy, more killable, the Viego. It's easier to lane against this guy again, right? So if you treat the jungle matchup like a lane when you get a kill like this and you use this idea of tempo properly, that's what tempo is, guys. I've made videos on this before, but everyone else likes to complicate it. Even people don't know what it means in Challenger. That is what it is. Who is running out of base first? The Viego here is running out of base. The other option Graves has, which Graves players can do, is you can cross through mid lanes like this, but it's obviously just like a lot easier here if Leo just bases for a longsword and gets here, right? So if you look at the death timer for me as well, you might be thinking, well, wouldn't he be late here? Well, it probably takes around 35 seconds, 40 seconds to get to Raptors, yeah? How long is Viego dead for? 11 seconds. Yes, he might have a bit of home guards out of base, but you're just putting so much pressure, man, on this dude. Like, so much pressure. Even if you get to Raptors a little bit late, you can always swing around here, yeah? Like, let's just say you think, oh, he's actually definitely done them, or you maybe, like, don't have mid-prior, right? Like, maybe Aurelian Sol has base, and you come down here, and you're like, oh my god, I don't want to come in here and contest the Viego on his Raptors. Fair enough. You could always do something where you come down like this, right, and wait in a brush. Wait for him to come down to his Krux. Really important, guys, that that makes sense, I guess, and hopefully it does. If you do have questions on it, please let me know. The last thing I want to show you, if Leo was doing this, right, running out of base, you would obviously look at kills in lanes as well. So it's not just about jungle, right? All I'm doing is adding this guy into the menu. Most people's menu is this, right? What lanes do we play for? That's pretty much it. What most junglers' menu is. And that even goes for higher elos, by the way. All I'm doing is throwing in this guy on top of these lanes. And guess what? More often than not, because most junglers like this guy are just asleep at the wheel, you can just keep abusing them all game. But that doesn't mean you don't go and kill these guys running out of base. Like, let's just say the Graves was to recall, run like this, and he's like, wait, their bot lane's so low. 
He can easily think of just doing this, or even this, right? And coming and getting a double kill. This is a potential 600 gold, right? Which is even more than Viego at this point. But if these guys were full HP and they're chilling with both summoner spells, nothing's happening mid lane. Let's put pressure on the enemy jungler, yeah? Hopefully this video is useful, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions, like I said, leave them down below. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, challenge every single role in the game. You can book a session. You can even add me on Discord if you want to, like, ask some questions and just talk to me about that stuff. Feel free to do that as well. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Don't be shit, bye.